This video is sponsored by EV, Australia's very own Tesla and electric vehicle sharing platform. Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom and thanks so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel where I discuss Tesla, electric vehicles and renewable energy. If this is your first time to my channel, then hello and welcome. Take a moment to hit that red subscribe button, that way you stay informed of any new content and it also helps my channel to grow as well. Today we're looking at software update 2021.12.25.6 here in our Tesla Model 3 Performance Stealth here in Sydney, Australia. We're going to do that and much more right after this. You know, I do get asked a lot of questions about owning a Tesla. Questions like, how long does it take to charge? Can you take it on a road trip somewhere? And how fast does it really go? Well, now with ev.com.au, Australia's very own Tesla and electric vehicle sharing platform, you can answer some of those questions yourself by hiring a Tesla from other Australian owners. With ev.com.au, you can hire it for a few days to try before you buy beyond a short test drive. You can rent it over the weekend to take it on a road trip somewhere, or you can hire it as a surprise gift for that special someone who's always talking about Teslas. You know exactly what I mean. So check out ev.com.au forward slash Tesla Tom and use my coupon code Tesla Tom to get $30 off your first rental. With an ever-growing fleet of Tesla and electric vehicles to rent, there's sure to be an EV car near you. And now for the rest of the video. Okay, so here we are in the car. And uh, as I said, this is software update 2021.12.25.6 in our Tesla Model 3 in red. Let's go to the release notes. And finally, there's some release notes to talk about uh, with this update, with a .12 update, not a .4 update, which is great. Okay, so 2021.12.25.6, we've got three things we can talk about today. Skyforce Reloaded, looks like an arcade game. New language support for user interface improvements. And Tesla Power Wall Coordination Charging Improvements. That one I'm really looking forward to uh, checking out. The first one is Skyforce Reloaded, looks like an arcade game. It says Skyforce Reloaded is the spirit of the classic arcade shoot 'em ups captured with modern visuals and design, meaty explosions, incinerating lasers, colossal bosses, and diverse aircrafts to pilot. So stay to the end of this video and you'll see me making a fool of myself playing this game with an Xbox controller. So that should be fun. And let's check out new language support. So, hey and Zravo, I'm sorry if I butchered uh, that pronunciation. New language support, you can now select Finnish and Croatian as your language. To update your language setting, tap controls, display, and select the desired option from the language drop-down menu. Note your vehicle must be in park to change languages. Okay, so let's check out uh, controls, and then we go to display, and you'll see touchscreen and voice recognition. You can change the language settings. Obviously, I've got it on English currently, but if you press the drop-down menu, you can scroll it down to Croatian right there. I won't even attempt to pronounce that. And then you've got Finnish as well. Uh, Swomi, I think, possibly Swomi in Finnish, but it seems to be only limited to touchscreen at this stage for voice recognition. Uh, I can't see uh, Finnish uh, nor Croatian as I scroll through the drop down menu there. So let's go back to the release notes. And the last one is the Tesla Power Wall Coordination. And this option I'm looking forward to reading out for you Tesla Power Wall Coordination. Your vehicle coordinates with power wall for enhanced charging during a power outage without exceeding the energy and power capabilities of your power wall system. Power wall continuously responds to the changing power needs of your home and will slow or stop your car's charging, keeping your home loads powered. During a power outage, your car will charge from the power wall, whether it is above the threshold set in the Tesla mobile app, which I'll show you in a second, you can change this threshold to balance your home and transportation energy needs, putting you in full control of your energy ecosystem. Powerwall can also use surplus solar to charge your vehicle during an outage if you keep your car plugged in while the sun is shining. So it looks like during a backup situation or during a grid failure situation, this is where this new update comes in really handy and this is what I'll be doing during a backup situation or a blackout situation 
I'll be plugging one or both cars into the charger. And uh, by the way, I've only got one charger at this stage, but I will be installing a second one. And that way with the power running in backup mode, if there is one excess solar um, on a sunny day, if there's a blackout, if it's a hot sunny day, then the power will kick in and allow uh, solar to power the car, which will be great. And you can also set the threshold, which I'll show you right now. So for that to happen, you must have the Powerwall app or the Tesla app. There it is there. So I'm going to scroll down to show you that I am on version right there, 21.20.2 for Powerwall. And I'm going to press customize and then scroll down to this new feature, this vehicle charging during power outage. Tesla vehicle charging will be enabled when Powerwall is above the set energy threshold. So currently on default, it's on 75%. So you could theoretically say I want it on 90%. So that way I can uh, keep my home powered for as long as possible. And if the power goes above 90%, then the cars will start charging. If you're um, happy to go a bit lower, let's say, you know, say 50%, then above that threshold, by 50%, that's when the cars will start charging. So this is quite a handy feature for a blackout situation. And of course, if your power wall goes to 100% and your cars still need charging, then the excess solar, if it's available, will start powering your cars as well. So that's a super handy feature, I think. Um, you know, I get, obviously that's, that's something people get asked all the time as Tesla owners. What happens when there's no power, when you've got a blackout? Well, there you go. Having a power wall certainly is a nice backup option uh, for having electric vehicles in your home. You can still charge your cars with solar and battery if uh, there's enough sun out, of course. All right, guys, well, that is the release note so far. What I'm going to do now for you is to actually run uh, that new game. And by the way, before I go ahead, I just want to quickly talk about the FSD subscription that has dropped. So now Tesla in the United States is allowing owners to subscribe to the FSD package for $199 US per month. In the US, it's costing them $10,000 to have the FSD package added to the car. So that works out to be about four years worth of subscription before you break even with buying the FSD package outright. Here in Australia, I think we will probably get it for 299 Australian dollars if you allow for currency exchange. Although some users on Twitter have been saying to me that it could possibly be even as cheap as 199 Australian dollars. Why is that? Well, because we don't actually have FSD beta yet. So our FSD package is 10,000 Australian, whereas in the US it's 10,000 US. So our FSD package at this stage is currently cheaper than their FSD package. So our FSD subscription, if it comes soon, could actually be 199 uh, Australian dollars per month as well, which works out to be about four years as well. If it's $299 per month, then it's three and a half years. And Elon has said previously that when FSD beta does drop in a particular market, then the FSD price will go up in two weeks time when FSD beta drops. At this stage, there's still no indication as to when FSD beta will drop in a market outside of the United States. It's still kind of limited to only the 1,000 odd testers in the United States at this stage. So of course, I'll let you know when FSD beta does drop in Australia. Be sure to follow me on Twitter to keep abreast of developments. Which brings me to the eternal question, is FSD package still worth purchasing in Australia at this stage? As you may well know in Australia, Autopilot auto steer is included with all new Teslas. And that's basically glorified traffic aware cruise control with really good auto steer. If you do pay $10,000 up front right now, you get the navigate on autopilot, you get automatic lane change, auto park and summon, and I suppose FSD beta when it does come. Is it worth the $10,000? If you do a lot of driving on highways, and freeways, then I say potentially yes for the auto lane change. If you just stick to urban roads, then potentially not. Is it worth $299 per month? I think possibly so. If you only do the odd road trip, you can just activate it for a month or two. If you're going on holidays, that's possibly worth the money. However, if you're going to subscribe to it all the time every month, but you're going to keep the car longer than say four years, then you may want to think about buying the FSD package up front rather than paying month to month. The other thing too is if you add the FSD package to your car, then it potentially and theoretically may increase the resale value of the car as opposed to a car that has no FSD package. And if you pay a subscription every month, then that value of course is not transferred to the resale value of the car. 
So, of course, a controversial subject. Have a think about it for yourself and leave a comment below if you think the FSC subscription of either $199 per month or $299 per month is worth it here in Australia in its current form. Okay, so let's go to the game. Uh, let's go to Entertainment and Skyforce Reloaded. Let's uh, press play game. And uh, let's just make it full screen. I had, um, I had a play with it before I recorded this video, but if you go to Hangar, you can actually uh, upgrade things. So I've already upgraded um, the cannon, so I've got some bullets. <laughs> Otherwise you're just flying around without being able to shoot things. And uh, obviously now I've got uh, no, no resources, I can't upgrade anymore. So I've just got basically a gun. So what I'm gonna do is actually start stage one for you. I did try before and I only got 9,000 points without any bullets. So hopefully with bullets now I can actually go a bit further. So let's press select. And I've got some object objectives here. Um, destroy 70% of en enemy forces, destroy 100%, rescue all people, stay untouched. So let's press next. And I am playing with um, a control pad here, an Xbox controller, plugged into uh, the USB port of the uh, Tesla. All right, let's press next. Let's see how we go. All right, let's press start. There you go. Okay, so I can shoot. Not very responsive though, is it? Cannon's not great. Oh, it's not very fast, but... Oh, okay, now I can fire a bit more. Ah, oh, what happened there? I must have pressed. Okay, now it's on, no. Okay, okay. I do quite like this kind of arcade gaming. Uh, I'm not really a regular gamer. I'm just relying on skills I <laughs> still have from my teenage self. So I apologize for gamers out there. It's probably painful watching me, but uh, I guess this is the most basic level of the stage. I just lost another life. Well, I lost a bit more of life. Boom. Wow. Sorry, guys. Game over. That's, um, that was me playing. I'll give it one more go and um, let's see how we go. Uh, 5,000 points this time. There's my stats. All right, let's do it one more time and then I'll finish the video. Just can't help myself, can I? Let's go back to Hangar, see if I can upgrade anything anymore. Uh, main cannon, let's upgrade again. So, uh, yeah, that's good. We've got a bit more... Um, Hopefully better firing, because that was no good. That firing was a bit slow. All right, well, I shouldn't blame my tools, should I? All right, one more time. This is a fun game, I think, to uh, amuse yourself if you're in the car waiting for whatever reason. Uh, whether it's waiting for charging, or waiting for children to finish their activities, or something. Uh, but it's useful to have, I think. Okay. I'm just going to hang on to the B button here. That's better. Now I can actually do some firing. A bit more useful. I was just mucking around before. I better collect these stars, hey? Oh, gosh. I should be collecting stars. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay. Sorry for making you guys dizzy. Oh, stars, yes, I want them. But I also don't want to get hit. Avoid. Avoid, we'll turn the volume down, sorry. It's a bit, bit noisy, isn't it? Oh, look at all these stars. Yes, and wings, whatever they are. I'm sure they're good. Yeah. Turret, kill the turret. Save the human. Didn't quite save the human there. Woohoo! Stars, yes! I'm doing a bit better than last time. Wings! Uh oh, did I get hit? Yes, I did. So, you really only get three shots, because that went to 67, and I assume the next one's 34%. So you get three lives, basically. Whoa! 
Wow, that's nasty, those things. Oh, okay. All right, so I got 32 and 9,000 points. So, yeah, as you can see, like, you know, you collect stars and then you can upgrade your weapon in the hangar. So let's go there and then we'll press uh, hangar again. So we can actually upgrade our weapons. We want to upgrade our our health or our our main cannon. Let's upgrade our health. Okay, so I guess that's better. If I get a few more chances, um, I guess we'll upgrade the main cannon next. All right, well guys, that's um, that's basically it. That's um, that's the Sky Force Reloaded. All right, guys, well, that was software update 2021.12.25.6 for our Tesla Model 3. If you enjoyed that video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you've not done so already yet. And uh, if you've seen any features from this update that I've not already uh, pointed out, please leave a comment below. I'd really love to hear from you. All right, guys, stay safe. And until the next one, happy charging.